Well, yesterday we talked about how the virus is stressing out kids and what to do to help manage it. But who can adults turn to when they're dealing with stress and anxiety? Our Mary Stackhouse talked to a local therapist who has some tips. Turn on the news or scroll through social media and there's plenty out there about the coronavirus. It's on all of our minds and for some it's causing a lot of stress and anxiety as folks are concerned about the health of themselves and their loved ones and the economic impact, potential job uncertainty for many. But whatever you do, don't bottle up what you're feeling. Really the important thing to do is communicate those thoughts and those feelings. I know right now, um, naturally, someone's response to stress would be, well, I want to isolate. I'm just going to keep it all in. I'm going to try to handle it myself. But it's really important to get those thoughts and those feelings out. Holding these feelings in is not healthy. Jasmine Butler says that could ultimately lead to depression. It could also lead to more anxiety and worry, even to substance abuse or trying to cope with these feelings in other unhealthy ways. Be sure to check in with your loved ones and show your support. It's more important than ever for us to be um, able to lend a listening ear, help out when we're able to in, in the individual ways that we can. And if you're interested in getting therapy and still want to practice social distancing, you can do so safely right from your home with therapists at Wellstone Behavioral Health. Our doors are open. We're willing to help in any way that we can to provide therapy to meet the need and whatever way that is, whether it be over the phone, whether it be through video chat, whether it be face to face, um, we're, we have therapists that are here and available to assist with processing what's happening, um, to give coping skills. Putting the Valley first, Mary Stackhouse, WZDX News.